another financial decision the worst the worst and this was it cost me a lot of money about three thousand euros wow so for this video we are going to discuss about yes you can tell from the title our worst financial mistakes as in a couple 20 especially in 2019 we mm. have made some terrible stuff and spent some money in the way that we should be doing okay number one which is i think that's where most of our money goes is owning vehicles you don't use absolutely owning vehicles we don't use and we have had Two vehicles that we own for more than two years now that we just don't use and we're not sure if you should. it's like this discussion of selling it comes up and we feel no but it's so personal to us but we are not using the thing so let's start with the car yes so two years ago we bought a used car second-hand car and actually um, we use it for less than six months really then Lempi got a job and with a new job she got also a car and we have not been using this car for the past two years, I would say. Yeah. Now, let me say, in 2019 alone, we have spent 300 euros on this car for the insurance. And we have also spent about 350 on one traffic fine, which was very expensive because the car was towed from the parking where we live because we have just left it there abandoned for a long time. So they towed mm -hmm. it. And then to the slish, or in addition, we had also like... Let me say every second week you just find uh, 15 euros Euro ticket. <laughs> for parking just because the people see that you don't use the car. Mm -hmm. We park it obviously on the street for most of the time. Yes. The second vehicle that we have that we are not using is my motorcycle. I have a motorcycle that has parked since four years, I would say, going to the fifth years in Italy that I'm not being using is there. Actually, at the moment, also need reparation, and I feel like what the hell I'm keeping that motorcycle for? For it's like a kind of furniture. It's uh, pay is parked in my basement uh, in uh, in my parents' house in Trevignano, and I'm not been using, not even turning on the the motorcycle for the past two years. So should I sell it? I think it's it's time to sell it but i first need to repair it but let me just say it's not a furniture a furniture you made use of it by sitting on it yeah you can sit on it anyway <laughs> <laughs> and let me how you haven't used that motorcycle more than three months when you bought it i think you bought it three months you used it and then you moved to germany yes. yeah yeah another financial decision the worst the worst and this was it cost me a lot of money about three thousand euros wow when you're making investments Mm -mm. I mean, we are going to tackle that in an, another video in details. But when you are making investments, take time to inform yourself and make that decision yourself. Do not rely Lie. on the information and advices from a consultant in the, the bank, bank. Because they focus on the investment that brings them the most commission. Yes. And what do they sell you? They sell you some share package that they have, product that most of the time are really bad because they are they are putting in a in a found they are putting old shares that doesn't really have a value because they are focused on keeping value or sort of this and then they have a lot a huge commission per year they have a huge commission when you enter the fund so you have just let me that cost me three thousand five hundred yes yeah. That's just, it's not like you don't lose when you do investment, but it's, I think that's an abs a loss that I should have absolutely avoided by just making decision on my, by myself, rather than going to the bank and say, you know, my cash is here, throw it wherever you want to throw it. It's, it's more like that. They don't care about your money. They care about making money for them some period. Next thing is parking. Yeah. This year alone, now, again, it's in the direction of vehicles we don't use but this is the one that we use so when i got my when we got the apartment we also it didn't have a parking and we needed to rent a parking the one that was available was very expensive yeah 80 so, euro per month yes so that's about 350 per year and i'm saying it was the best choice at the moment when i made it but i'm so, so sorry but uh, is how much per year I, I think it's about 350 no baby it's much more 80 per 12 <gasps> is almost a thousand euros per year Huh? Is that how much we've really been paying on this? Yes. <gasps> Wait. 12. Oh! Wow. 
<laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. So we have been wow. spending. We are spending mm -hmm. more on the parking than on the car. For maintaining the car. Yeah, that we are not using. That we are not using. That is degrading. Uh, we spent a thousand euro. On the, the parking, parking alone, yeah? pier, yes. Ooh. I don't know, I feel stupid now. So, when I made that decision, I think it was the best choice. Had we just used it for two months, because after well, two When months, was your reasoning? Because uh, I, no, I remember needed I told it them. right away. I needed it right yes. away, and that was okay. My problem, I feel like, is why we didn't change it every time new parkings were coming out. Mm-hmm new parking notices were there that were way cheaper than that there was 30 there was 50 we didn't change and that's the problem but yes then i needed it because i had to park a car because i had like one week without parking mm -hmm. and in that one week i got like four traffic four fights traffic five. every day i had not, to pay 20. not only that we had two cars so we had two car park on the street that were getting fine so <laughs> buying things you don't need yes now Yes, a lady, I do. I don't do a lot of shopping, but I do already. I think I do a lot of shopping I mean, more than you. You don't you, shop at all. And when it comes to shopping, I would say sometimes we buy a lot of things, especially ladies that are in the shop, because they look nice on the on the model or in the magazine whatsoever, that you know, like, they are not suitable to your daily life. I'm just saying things like high heels. High heels, oh, I know, just the, some clothes that you get, that they are nice for a... I don't know some party evening about how much how much do you really partying during the year you know that's the thing so things like high heel evening gowns for somebody like me i just a year can go by without wearing high heels i'm like we walk around in the city or we always drive into somewhere we do a lot of outdoor activities i don't use high heels so if i have a pair it's fine but i'm thinking in the past Two years i haven't even had high heels at all but i still already have some pain i think yeah, you would never have it because <laughs> if you are working you need something comfortable yeah, but not also that in weekend going somewhere you definitely need something comfortable yeah so. they just i don't get maybe if we go to a wedding but nowadays i don't even want to go to a wedding with high heels i just want to dance and eat so i don't go with high heels so and then handbags now my worst Ooh. financial decision in 2019 is this 200 euro yes leather bag leather bag that you paid 200 euro for me i would never spend that much money on a handbag to be honest to be honest we have a luggage that is full on of handbag bag because we don't have a luggage we do have, yeah, we do have a luggage like we have one entire of this but box it's not a luggage it's a storage for handbags yeah but we have another one there that is full <sighs> of uh, your uh, of your purse and things that you are not using yeah, anymore let's think about things that i don't use things that i use occasionally things that i don't use ever and that 201 that one that costs 200 mm -hmm. i don't use it ever ever that so i think that should be a get a giveaway video who wants it the thing is terrible uh, I, I think, think people uh, are going to ask for it no that's really bad so that is like really really bad buying things that i don't want when it comes to ali now you don't buy a lot of things no i don't you buy also things. buy things you also buy things that we don't need give me an example no Things that you think they are funny and they are they are funny or cute in the shop that you definitely know that we are never going to use. When you go into the media market, for example, you find small useless product like the fans that you stick in your USB computer USB thing. This okay, they cost like five euros, but when you're buying like Tanta, eventually they cost yeah, about twenty, they cost about fifty. Yeah, yes. fifty. Mm. Like, give me, give me example. Beanies or this beanies. Like, yeah, like uh, mutze or this. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't get. I don't buy boots. I get mutze for present. Yeah, for but Christmas. you buy. You, oh, you know, when you check in that, there's also one that is like for baby that you bought me that you definitely know that I'm never going to use. But we're in the shopping like this is cute, baby. Take it. Yes, that yeah, was that cute. Things I don't. Things we don't need. Obviously, that's. Yeah, but, but how can you really compare my, the, the things that I buy is like five year, five to 15 euros, seriously. You buy things for 200, the clock, to be honest, this clock that you bought, you are, you're not even wearing it for, for work most of the time and you spend how much on it? No, that's a secret. But no, no, tell, so. how much did you spend for the no, Seiko? baby. The Seiko costs 200, but that's 200. fine because I wear it, I would say I wear that at least three times a week. Three That's already week, justifiable. Okay. That 200 for the backpack, it's painful because I don't like the backpack. 
Okay. I don't like it at all because of that I don't use it. So it's brand new? I've used it once by force because I feel like I should spend, I should use my 200 euros. But yeah. that is just, don't buy things you don't need. Be bags, clothes, like also evening gowns. I have also thrown away a lot of jackets that I some I never wore because they were too cute in the shops. Mm -hmm. Like jacket with fur. And mm -hmm. then I don't feel comfortable walking around wearing things that look like fur or animal feathers. Yeah, that is so kind of... So I have had this jacket that also cost a lot nice. of money. And then I kept it in Germany for a long time, never wore it. I wore it once and I took some pictures for my Facebook mm -hmm. <laughs> in the room. Then I sent it to Namibia because I thought I would wear it in Namibia. I didn't wear it. Nobody wore it at home. It was at home for like two years. Then I went and one time my mother was like, take your jacket with this jacket. You're still in good condition. Then mm -hmm. I brought it back. Then, okay, I had to throw it away. But just don't buy things you don't need. Mm -hmm. I, I should also tell that. Lampy, please, moving in 2020, keep your money in check and do not buy things you don't need. Mm -hmm. Now, number four is some weird stuff. When it comes to food, I think you should also have a budget. There's some ah, yeah. spontaneous spending. Yes, when you are spontaneous, sometimes <laughs> you get in some traps like, uh, you know? No, you just, you're not thinking. When you feel like, oh, I, I, we are only saving now, let's spend. Now, one time we went to a steak restaurant and we bought steak for one. It was one steak that cost 150 I personally think it's expensive. If we go to a restaurant and we spend 150 eating several things, it's yeah. not bad. But to have one piece alone... Okay. It, to be honest, it, the, the stupidity it was that it was an aged steak. So, you know, it was unnecessary. Like, you get a normal steak that would probably cost you about 20 euros or something like that. But it was aged meat. So they make you pay 150 <laughs> for and that is kind of stupid let me just say how it went for me in my opinion aged meat is just rotted meat let me put it away it's, it's, it's kind of fermented rotted thing and when we were eating this and we realized really oh my goodness we spent uh 150 i i called the guy i was like oh is this meat rotten like i said no it's not rotten it's, it's aged. aged and i was really like Ah, oh, my 150 is gone on this shit. 100. That was that's bad. Yes. I mean, of course, it was also not. Those are the things when you walk out of the restaurant, it's not enjoyable anymore. You're also like the whole night thing. I mean, but they are lesson yeah. you learn from them. You know that you know now that you don't need to spend that much it's money. money on a steak. Like hmm. just renting an expensive apartment for no reason. Yep. Now, our and apartment... And expensive uh, and small, I would say. Small. No, it's not about small. It's really when you're looking for an apartment in a rush and then, especially when you choose an apartment in the city center, it's so expensive for no reason. Our apartment is super, super small. We pay so much because it's directly in the city center. There's, there's not even parking place for people coming to visit us because there's never parking place on the, yeah, on the street. Yeah, and I would say, had we just opted for an apartment outside the city center, we'll pay the same amount of money and have living space. Now we literally sit in a living room with a bed, with a kitchen and a separate bathroom. Like, it's yeah. just... And we have been living here for more than one year. We are still going to live here next year, according to the boss. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Anyways, that was it from us today, guys. Moving I would just say moving in 2020, I would try to be a little bit more focused. No buying extremely steak, rotten, rotten steak for Absolutely the amount not. of money. Oh, with the other vehicle, we have to find a solution. Either we use them or we sell them. And We are going to sell them. For me, honestly, I would try to not buy things I don't need. Headbags, clothes, shoes and jackets and that jackets. I don't use. That, ah, yeah, that's jackets. where most of my money goes. Yeah, jackets, you didn't talk about jackets, but jackets is <laughs> a huge thing. I did mention jacket as yeah, well. Jackets is like, we have a collection. <laughs> we can have, like, actually have, I think, seven I or eight no, different jackets. No, I don't have so many. I've already thrown away. I, I did even throw away some jackets I didn't use. So... You need to think about your... Money. Yep. Well, that was it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, comment. Also, if you don't like the video, comment and give us what we can improve in our next video. See you in our next episode. Ciao, ciao, ciao.